Hi everyone. My name is Chris. I'm from Lion Punch Forge. I'm also here on behalf of my personal group, Metalsmith Mafia, and a group that I'm an admin for, Inspiring Metalsmiths. What I have to say today uh, is, isn't easy. I think I've done three different takes of this video, trying to phrase it in the right way, trying to do the right thing, and um, it's difficult because it's hurtful. A uh, member of our community, Sandy Sturgeon, uh, many of you may know him, have had conversations with him, have done business with him, um, claims many, many things as far as his military service. A group called the Guardians of the Green Beret released a video today of their four-year investigation into Sandy Sturgeon's claims of being a special forces sniper and all sorts of other things. Sandy is a Canadian citizen. Sandy cannot get a security clearance in the US military. Sandy has been lying and lying and lying to all of us about his business, about his experience, about lots of things. If someone is willing to steal valor from service members, of the United States, of the Canadian, of the French, of the whatever military. If you lie about your service in the military to build yourself up, to get free things, to make yourself feel that much more important, I'm sorry, you've got no place here. So what I'm going to do is, obviously you can tell that I'm angry about this and you should be as well. However, regardless of how angry you may be, I'm going to stick down below the links to the article and the video, and you can make your own judgment call. We have already taken steps to remove him from several groups uh, because of uh, basically the information that is presented down below. Also information from him requesting uh, nude models and taking money for things that, um, that are lies. I digress. I'm angry. But what I'm really here to talk to you about is after you look at the information down below, come back to the video, come back to see what I have to say about it. It's not about knocking Sandy. Karma will do its thing. Please do not reach out to him. Please do not threaten him. Please ignore the crap out of him. He is not worth our time. He's not worth the energy, the effort, the breath that we have in our lungs to address. He's got his own thing to deal with now. What I'd like to address is what we do now as a community. Metalsmiths, goldsmiths, silversmiths, blacksmiths, whatever you are, we're a pretty tight knit group. We have a very loving, caring, giving community. And when somebody like this infiltrates our community and it destroys our trust, it destroys uh, the moral fiber of portions of the group, we need to look at not what happened so much, but how we move forward. So as a, an owner, a business owner, somebody who has done business with him, as a group owner, as an admin for another group, we are family. Dysfunctional, functional, whatever, family. We all have common interests common goals, common hobbies, and we're all here for relatively the same reason. We want to better our art. We want to build community. We want support. We want ideas. We want to feel like we belong. For 20 years, I was involved in law enforcement. And it wasn't really until after I retired that I 
started going full time in metalsmithing and goldsmithing and silversmithing, all the things that I do. It wasn't until that moment, that moment that I went full time, that I dove in to this community, this career, that I really felt like I belong. So if I'm sure a lot of you may feel the same way, that you rely heavily on members of our community to uh, bounce ideas off of, to uh, have support groups. I know I have my own support groups. Big shout out to a couple friends of mine. You know who you are. Um, good people are in these groups. And unfortunately, when one infiltrates, victimizes, steals, whatever it is from the group, there's a, a hole left. And I would like to not fill that hole with hate for that person. I would like to fill that hole with uh, healing. I'd like to fill that hole with uh, all of you reaching out to each other, seeing if you're okay, asking each other if you're okay. The problem is, is that you know we're artists. We're individuals. We all kind of do our own thing. We're all strong people for the most part. And the problem with being strong is that not everyone asks somebody who's strong if they're okay. So if you have a support group, please reach out. If you have somebody you kind of keep an eye on, somebody who you bounce ideas off of, reach out. Ask them if they're okay. Unfortunately, things like this uh, can take a toll on a group, can take a group toll on a community. Um, yeah, as you can see, I'm a little lost for words. Personally, I like to take this moment to apologize to you. During the course of my business, during the course of my groups, um, I promoted, I backed, I worked with this person, Sandy Sturgeon, and unfortunately, in doing so, I hope that none of you were hurt by that. I take this very personally, and I want you guys to know that finding, rooting out, and not allowing this to happen in our community is a hill that I would die on any day. So. I'm not going to I'm not going to go on and on. I could cuz I'm angry. I'm not. What we take out of this is how we move forward as a community. Look out for each other. You see something that seems fishy. If you hear something that doesn't seem right, seems kind of weird, make note of it. Trust your gut. Listen to that little voice in your head. Something doesn't seem right. Something may not be right. That's, that's all I have. Honestly, it's difficult for me because this is somebody that I dealt with on a regular basis, somebody that I confided in, somebody that um, you know bounced ideas off of. But ultimately, as things have come out, we found out that uh, lack of integrity, lack of humility, lack of truthfulness, all these things are par for the course when it comes to Sandy Sturgeon. Like I said, I'm going to link the information down below. You can make up your own mind. There's going to be lots more information probably coming out as you start talking to other group members. He's taken a toll. It's time to rebuild. It's time to come together. It's time to be a community. And it's time to say no to people like this so yeah from the bottom of my heart I apologize but you have this my vow that we move forward and we move forward stronger as a community thanks for listening Chris Lamp Punch Forge